Hello everybody, this is Steve from Old Boy Moto. You know, g'day guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to part three of the dreaded uh, sticky notchy clutch pull on the uh, Harley Lowrider. Now, I've taken out this um, clutch cable, we thought uh, we might buy a brand new one. Um, and I've cleaned this and I've rotated it in the uh, sheath and everything else like that. And it is as free as a bell, free as a daisy. I've even split it at the adjuster and um, I've put cleaner in there to clean it out. And I can turn it, spin it, move it in and out. And there's just not a problem in the world. Um, which leads me to believe that the cable's okay. Um, could it be that it's playing up under load? Maybe. Um, there could be uh, something happening inside there that when I'm pulling the clutch in when it's all hooked up and it's uh, dragging on something, it could be a fray or something like that. But I've just put it together there like that and it is just as good as a new one, you know, um, and I can turn it to the point where the, the bend is and still, as I'm turning, move it. Doesn't seem to be an issue. I don't think I'll be going for a cable. Now, I had the other side off, the primary, and I pulled the, um, the push rod out, and that all seems to be fine. There was no metal there or anything else like that. But when I pulled the slinger out, I did find that there's an ever slight burr there. I don't know if, you, if the camera will pick that up. But there's a little burr there, and when I pushed it in and moved it along, I could feel it catching. It's actually quite pronounced there. I can stick my fingernail in it, and there it is, like... Um, yeah, uh, so I'm just wondering whether that's catching in there. I don't know. Um, you wouldn't think so. It might be. Um, you know, the rods are loose in there. They're, they're not a, an exact fit. Um, you know, there's plenty of room for them to wobble around and bounce around, and I reckon that's what damages the ends of these. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to clean this oil slinger up, the end there, without taking too much off, just to get that burr off and put it all back together. I won't be buying a new cable as, as yet. And what I also did notice when I had the primary off, as I was working the clutch when it was all hooked up, I could actually hear the um, thumping going on in the clutch basket. So as I'm letting the clutch out, it would go thump, 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 thump. Um, is it that? I'm hoping so. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of 800 here and I'm just giving that a nice polish up. I've uh, already taken the burr out with a bit of um, emery cloth of P80. Which is um, just enough to get the burr out. It was on that flat part of it. And I'll just polish it up a little bit to get it nice and round so that it doesn't dig into where it seats. Uh, look, I'm just hoping that that's what it was. Yeah, there's still a bit of a burr in that, so I'll keep working on it. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but there is no more burr there. So what we'll do is we'll whack it back in and see how we go with the clutch. Um, I'm pretty confident it's not the cable. Hopefully it was just those little burrs there. And what I might do too is pull the rod out again and see if there's any more burrs on that. I didn't actually have see any burrs on that, but I'll take it out. If there is, I'll clean the rod up as well. Right, so back at the bike, guys, and um, that's where your oil slinger goes. I've just got a cotton bud in there, a big cotton bud. I'm just give it a bit of a clean and see if I can look in there with a torch to see if there's any scoring. If it is, it'll be right right in at the end of the um, where the uh, oil slinger rod meets the push rod. Well, guys, I reckon I'm onto it. Um, right, 
So here we have one of the shafts and inside, I've managed to look inside after cleaning it out with that cotton bud and there is a little bit of scoring in there. Uh, so what I'll need to do is, is sit the bike up straight and take the primary cover off again, remove that rod and see if I can set something up like a, a bit of emery cloth or something uh, so that I can clean up that scoring in that shaft. I reckon I'm onto it. Um, I've cleaned up the oil slinger and uh, that's come up really well. I've rounded it a little bit, uh, not enough to make any difference so it falls off the rod where it's supposed to seat or anything like that. But um, I think these uh, setups, what happens is uh, unless you keep your clutch adjusted properly and everything adjusted properly, eventually the oil slinger and the rod will uncouple and bounce around in there and cause the scoring. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, maintaining the bike is a pretty big thing. Uh, maintaining that clutch um, adjustment is a big thing. Righto guys, so here we are. We're on the primary side and I'm just about to crack that adjusting nut like so and um, pull the um, push rod out. So that's that, pretty simple. This is just the adjusting nut. And that's it there. And our rod's in there. I'll see if I can push it through from the other side while you're watching. Okay, let's have a look. That should have come out. Um, let's have a look. There we go. So that's your push rod. And that seems fine. There's no scoring on that. There's no burrs on the ends of it. So the rod's fine. Um, the problem is inside. Right, guys, so what I've done, I've got the um, push rod in my hand and I've put a little of emery, emery cloth, pardon me, emery cloth on the end of the push rod and I'm just going to go inside there and I'm only going to go as far as where the scoring is and I'll see if I can just get it a little bit cleaned up. Now this is going to take a little while so obviously I'm not going to run the video all the way um, but I reckon I'm onto it. Um, there's a bit of scoring in there. I can see it from the other side, from the primary side and um, I'm just going to try and take it out and I reckon what was happening is the uh, not the push rod, but the oil slinger was getting um, was getting um, jammed up on it. Yeah, guys. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a bit of a hone. I can feel it grabbing in there. I can feel the uh, emery cloth grabbing it. Eventually, uh, I hope I can polish it out. Right, oh. So we've cleaned the score out of that uh, shaft. Uh, put the rod back in and I'll just oil up my oil slinger and put it back in and put our hands together and pray for the best. That's all we can do in the finish. Ooh, that's like in there pretty good now. Well guys it's uh, morning again um, so I did as much as I could yesterday and I uh, thought I'd let it go and uh, keep, keep at it this morning. It's a beautiful day. Uh, so what I did last night, basically after I cleaned up uh, the scoring and so forth, is I reassembled my cable back into the transmission cover. And what I will do is I will <clears throat> put this bag over the cover because as you route the cable up into the bike, you don't want this flapping around and getting scratched or whatever, so I'll bag that up. Right, so I put that in the bag. Cable's all fine. I've actually screwed that right out again so it's ready to go on well guys everything's back together um, I've adjusted the clutch and I've adjusted the cable and here is the moment of truth let's see whether we've fixed this notchy sticky lumpy clutch okay so pull her in oh that's nice Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. Oh, that's coming in and out of there beautifully now. 
Well, that's what it was. Um, you know, you've really got to have a keen eye, I guess, because the first time I pulled out that oil slinger and had a look at the shaft, I didn't spot it. Um, it was so tiny, and um, but causing all that grief. Um, so it pays to go over with everything with a fine tooth comb. Uh, so that's great, and listen, I'd like to thank everyone that's been watching and giving input. It's what leads you to finding the problem. So I'm glad the cable was fine. I didn't have to spend another 150 bucks on it. I've spent $60 on the ramp. You know, so what? Big deal. It's still a cheap fix. Um, it's got a new ramp, and I might sell the other one as a second-hand item because it's just uh, it's still good. So apart from replacing my transmission oil, um, I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.